Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add hit sounds to your Gorilla Tag fan game. Now, a lot of you guys are saying that other tutorials aren't working, but in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make it working so it doesn't play the same hit sound over and over again uncontrollably. Now, the script will be my Discord server, link in the description. Yeah, you know the drill, like and subscribe, helps me out a lot. Let's get straight into the video. So first, what you wanna do, you wanna go to my Discord server, link in the description. Go to the channel called Hit Sounds. You'll have to scroll down a tiny bit on the left side to find it. Go to Hit Sounds, click the download button on the scripts and then just drag it into Unity into your scripts folder. Then once you drag it in, it should be in here. But now you need actual hit sounds. And there's many ways to find hit sounds. You could just search up on YouTube, you know, touching grass or grass hit sound or something. But if you want to have your own original hit sounds, you need to download some sort of audio recording app like Audacity. The link to Audacity will be in the description. Once you download it, you have to open it up and then you'll be on a screen like this. Just click the record button and then make your hit sound. So I'm just going to record it. Tap my desk and then click the stop button here. So here we go. Let's listen to it. Now it's not the best, but for video's sake, I think it's good enough. So I'm just going to make this louder by dragging this to probably around three. That's probably good enough. Now I'm just going to drag this and click the delete button or the backspace button on my keyboard. Now I'm going to do the same here. And now if we play from the beginning, That's what it would sound like if we turn off the loop and play it again. That's what it'll sound like. So now let's say this is good enough, right? You're just going to go to file, export, export as mp3, and then just type in the name for it, whatever you want. So I'm just going to do test hit sound for you. You could do, you know, stone hit sound, wood hit sound, whatever, and just click enter to save it. This doesn't matter. Just click OK. And now it's saved. So now you can click out of that. If you want, you can save it. Just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to click save and then you'll be out of this. So now back in Unity, you can make a new folder by right clicking, go to create and go to folder. And I'm just going to call it hit sounds. It doesn't matter. This is just to organize stuff. Double click to go in there. Then right click, go to import new assets, find wherever you downloaded the audio file. So I found it and I just double clicked on it. So now you can see that we have the hit sound here. Now, before we do anything, go to your gorilla rig, click the drop down arrow here drop down on gorilla player and then on left hand and right hand controller make sure they both have a tag called hand tag by clicking that click add tag and then you know make it there make sure the left hand controller has a layer called left hand right hand controller should have a layer called right hand and then both of them should have a sphere collider right by clicking add component and then sphere collider right so click that turn on is trigger and then the most important part right usually you'd have the radius on 0.05 but in order to make the hit sound not repeat a bunch uncontrollably, put the radius to 0.06 and then you can click enter and then you'll be all good. Now for the hit sound part, go to the script, click on whatever you want the hit sound to be on. So if I click this, it'll play the hit sound, drag the hit sound script and here it says hit sound and audio source. Go back to assets, go back to hit sounds, right? You'll have to click on this again and then drag this thing, the square thing right here onto the cube. And then where it says play on away, turn that off. And then you can mess with these settings, right? But it really doesn't even matter. Just make sure that all of these are turned off. And then where it says audio source here, just drag this audio source from here to there. And now on the cube or the floor or whatever the object is, you do not need to put is trigger. So do not turn on is trigger. Just make sure it looks something like this. And then to play test it, just click this thing right here and it'll play test. Now these hit sounds aren't networked. So other people won't be able to hear the hit sounds that you hit. But now to test it out, let's move a hand. And as you can see, when we touch the floor, it plays a hit sound. And if we keep it, you know, on the ground, it doesn't do it repeatedly, but like every time it touches the ground, it does it, right? And it doesn't do it repeatedly. So the big parts to make it not repeat, once again, on the sphere collider, make the radius 0.06. And that's it. So I'm going to go out of that. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, the hit sound script will be my Discord server, link in the description. You know, please like and subscribe because it helps me out so much. Honestly, you don't even understand. If you want, you can join the Discord server for my game Proboscis. It's the second Discord server link in the description. You can become a channel member for only $2 a month to get so many awesome perks. Just click the join button next to the subscribe button to get all the info on that. Only $2 a month, so many awesome perks. Leave a comment so I can know which tutorials you want in the next video. And yeah, that's it for me today. Wait, I just realized something. You haven't subscribed yet. Click the subscribe button, please. I'm trying so hard to get to 10K. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. That's it for me today. Peace.